So today I'm going to talk about ADA Ferts today. So I know on YouTube there's not a lot of good videos. I mean in ADA in general, their products aren't very known on YouTube that very much. I mean obviously there are videos, but there's not a lot of good English videos. I mean most of obviously a big part of ADA is obviously in Japan and Europe and you know in the United States we really don't see ADA as much and especially their products with only one distributor here in the US and most people don't even know it exists. So that's where my channel kind of comes in where obviously if you're a big ADA person like me you, this channel is literally perfect because I do own pretty much every ADA product and here in the US I, I try to make as much videos as I can on all the products to actually showcase them in person because just like the tools, canisters, the lights, you know everything I can so you guys can actually see them in person because it's hard to spend the, adjust the money on some of these ADA products when you don't even see them in person or you can't, you don't, there's no reviews on them, you know there's no videos so that's where I come into play and try to give you guys some good videos on some of these products so you guys can more understand but today we're going to talk about one of the more simpler ones and that's the actual ADA fertilizers so so I'm going to talk about why so ADA Ferts it is one of the better Ferts on the market if not the best in my opinion um, it pro I've, I've seen the best growth out of plants in a lot of setups with ADA Ferts some of the best plant aquariums use ADA Ferts but I, I, what I want to make with this video about is ADA Ferts aren't for every tank too and I'll kind of get into that and why that is so so of course with ADA Ferts it's different from your average other fertilizer which is usually on all in one most of the time that most people use What's different about ADA is obviously all these verts are separated. And so like an all-in-one, this is basically like all this stuff combined together into one fertilizer. But because of that, an all-in-one is more, I want to say diluted, but each content is diluted a little bit. So you're not getting as much of each thing. And so when you dose separately, that gives you a wider range of, so say if you have a problem, say if you need more iron, for example, you can dose more iron. Well, on an all-in-one, if you need more iron most of the time, people just dose more with the all-in-one but the the down effect of that is you get more algae that way because you're just dosing more of everything because you need more of the iron so if you get what I'm saying there but but I know it might sound confusing so if you guys have any questions on your exact setups on what you think would be the best definitely let me know I can get that answer for you buzz but so so basically on the ADA for it so also we got our body K we got our two types one that's for tap and one's for RO so whichever one you use Obviously, one affects the pH and one doesn't. So, so with RO, we can't, we actually just want the regular variety K because we actually do want the pH. Because if we're using RO, we obviously the pH is going to be lower. So this actually raises it just a little bit because once you, RO is going to be on average about neutral, so about seven. So when you add CO two to that and you have about one drop of pH, then your pH is about six almost. And so using the regular Brighty K helps because at least raises its pH a little higher. So we're almost like you're at that 6.5 to 7 mark again. So that's definitely, but the other one, the other one if you're using tap, um, that one doesn't affect your pH. So say if you're using tap and your water is already pretty hard or right at that 7 spot, then the, then that's when you'd want to use the other Brighty K. Um, the next one is nitrogen, obviously a pretty important one. It's one of the main, it's a macro, so it's one of the main ones. Main main um, elements that plants will utilize a lot. Um, the next two are actually your micros. So mineral is a bunch of things, the main one being magnesium, but sulfur, boron, copper, a little bit of more iron, zinc, you know, etc. Et a lot of other stuff, but uh, main one main one is the magne magnesium in this one. Um, and then the last one is iron. Obviously we all know iron is pretty important. Um, it's what gives most of the color in the plants. Um, it's a big one. So, so when you use an ADA first, so some people get kind of confused. So when you're dosing ADA, of course you need all four of these. You, most, most people get confused and end up buying one if they don't know a lot about it. So you do need all four of these if you're going to do a full. Now, for example, say if you're using another fur and you just want to buy for the iron because you want to dose more iron, that's totally fine. But at the end of the day, this is, I will talk about this here in a second, but this these fertilizers are more lean. So if you're, you might want to go for like sea chem iron or something, something that has um, little high, higher contents and not as diluted because these are lean. And so you're, even though it's iron, you're getting a little less too because it's a little bit watered down. So it's causing less algae. So, so that's what that is. So I guess I'll jump right into that on, on why this, this fertilization um, system isn't the best for every tank. And that's because it is lean. Now lean means 
So you got rich nutrients, which is like Tropica. I mean, basically almost every other fruit out there is rich in nutrients, so it has a lot of it. It's not as diluted. Well, what lean means is they, di they dilute the fruit, and so and so it's you can the simple way to explain it is it's almost like watered down almost. And what what the benefit of that is is it causes you less algae because obviously you're not dosing as much. You're basically dosing the minimum of what your plants need to grow and be healthy, but you're not dosing overboard to where you're going to get a bunch of algae issues and so so what tanks are good for ADA fruits now let me say this so if you're if your plant tank is let's say let's take this 90p behind me for example so we have ADA Amazonia as a substrate really rich substrate so obviously most of our plants are going to get their nutrients from the substrate obviously a lot of rich nutrients other there that they're sucking all their food from and so if if most of your plants are, if you have a really rich substrate like I do, then you you don't really need to dose a whole bunch of fruits because obviously it's getting you know nine percent of it's getting from the substrate. So then obviously leaves still need nutrients from their leaves, so that's why we dose liquid fruits. And and what's good about this, so if you have an Am if you have a ADA setup and you have ADA Amazonia, well it's better to dose lean because obviously you're already getting so much nutrients from the substrate that there's no point in going rich and then causing you more algae. So the lean system um, gives you just enough for the plants, you know, and it's not going to be overbearing to where you're going to get a bunch of algae, if I make sense. So, so that's why, so that that's that'd be the reason you'd want to dose um, ADA is if you have a really niche, rich rich um, substrate, which is like ADA Tropica, um, even UNS, I'd, it would be another one. Um, but really, any plant of substrate. But obviously, like the ones I just mentioned are going to be the most rich in nutrients, and plus will leach a lot of ammonia. So, because they're just full of nutrients, which is why we do a lot of water changes in the beginning of setups with a, a planted substrate. Is because of that, um, they do leach a lot of nutrients in the beginning, um, including ammonia. So, so, that's that. So yeah. So, basically, it, dosing this stuff is pretty simple. So basically. Um, if you get the bottle ones, obviously these are the 300, and then they have the, I think it's the 100 or maybe 150, somewhere in there. The ones that are just basically half this size. And so basically it's nice to have the little pumps on the top. So it's basically one pump per five gallons. So for this 90p, for example, this is like a 48 gallon tank or 44, it's one to two, 44, 48. But so technically I do like nine pumps, so nine times five is 45. But it, I just want to. Except I don't really know the true volume because most sites are just back and forth between how many gallons it truly is. But so I just basically do 10 pumps, so that's doing 50 gallons, which is perfectly fine. Just go, and I'd recommend doing that if you do lean, just because you might want. You definitely don't want to underdose lean because it is lean, and you definitely want your plants to get enough nutrients. And so that's why I just at least I go over just one more pump on my setups. If I'm if I'm dosing ADA, so basically I'll just dose one more pump. So technically I would need to do nine pumps, but I just go ahead and do ten just so I'm safe. Because who knows, you might be pumping and and realize you didn't actually you know push it all the way down or something weird to where you just make sure you definitely have plenty of fertilizer in there. Um, except it is so lean. Another thing is, also you do this daily, and that's a big thing because if with all in ones, if you dose a little extra, you're fine. And if you get if say if you forget a day, it just doesn't matter. But with ADA, you have to make sure you're dosing every day because if you don't it's so lean that it, your plants are already not getting enough or just enough so if you miss a day then your plants are pretty much going to suffer not saying they're going to die like overnight but if you're really trying to keep a tank looking good you definitely have to um, make sure you're dosing this daily and if, if you can't remember then you can get a dosing pump and put all obviously there's four of these so you're going to need a forehead but which might get kind of expensive but some good ones out there like GHL is the one I'd recommend. It's probably the best one on the market. It is expensive, so be aware of that. But if, if you're in the market for a really nice one, GHL is the, definitely the go-to. But so yeah, so that's pretty much it. If you guys, I'm, I know I probably skipped over something, but if you guys have any other questions, definitely comment down below. I can definitely get that answered. But, but yeah, just a big thing to take away from this is it is a lean fertilizer. So, you know, Definitely make sure your setup is correct for this type of fertilizer and make sure you're dosing daily. You don't miss a day because like we were saying, your plants already aren't getting like enough food. So, so you want to make sure you're doing that. But other than that, yeah, definitely. If you're definitely interested, definitely pick up some ADA first. Your plant tanks will look amazing. 
But other than that, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.